Alright, so this is derivatives of polynomials, negative powers, fractional powers, and we're going to do it all by rule. That means we're not going to use like first principles, we've just got a handy rule to help us out. So we're going to do heaps and heaps of questions in this video, uh, but the main idea is just this. If you have a function, um, say f of x, and that function can be written as a to the x, oh sorry, a times x to the n. All right, so just a number and then x to the power of another number. Um, the derivative of that, so f dash x, will be equal to, um, now we decrease the power by 1, and then uh, we whatever the original power was, we multiply that by a. So there's our rule. Um, the derivative of a x to the n is equal to a n x to the n minus 1. And you've seen questions like this before. I'm going to put up some examples and we'll chew through them real quick. The first question, uh, find the derivative of uh, f of x equals 3x to the 5. So, using our rule, it's a is 3 and n is 5. So I need to take the 5 and sort of bring it out to the front here. So 3 times 5, that's going to be 15. And then uh, decrease the power by 1. So 5 minus 1 is going to be 4. And it should be as simple as that. Uh, now we can do longer polynomials. Here's another example. 4x to the 2 plus 5x plus 7. Now the power comes out the front. 2 times 4 is 8. The power decreases by 1. So x to the 2 becomes x to the 1 or just x. Uh, now this next one's interesting. Uh, now that's kind of like x to the 1. So the 1 can come out. So it becomes 5 times 1 which is 5. Uh, and then that decreases the power by 1. So x to the 1 becomes x to the 0, and x to the 0 is 1. So it kind of becomes 5 times 1. In other words, if you've got 5x or 7x or 100x, the derivative of that's just going to be the number. It's just going to be 5. And then this one here, um, there's no x there at all. So it, it, when we derive a, a constant, it disappears totally. So there's the derivative of 4x squared plus 5x plus 7. It's 8x plus 5. Um, now, that's really the polynomials. You should have done those before in the past. Negative powers, fractional powers. So a quick example here. Uh, 3x squared, that's nothing we haven't seen before. Uh, 6x. Um, negative 6x to the negative 2. Now, same rules all apply. So the negative 2 can come out here. Negative 6 times negative 2 will make positive 12. And then we decrease the power by 1, so negative 2 minus 1 becomes negative 3. So f of x equals 6x plus 12x to the negative 3. And then that plus 1, that's a constant, derivative of a constant is 0, it disappears. Um, now, one more thing I'll say here. You'll notice this little comma, x is not equal to 0, as part of my question. Why? Um, you can't have x equal to 0 in this particular question. Because if you did, um, this actually says 6 divided by, uh, I'll just write it here, just as a little side note. 6x to the negative 2 is the same as 6 on x squared. You've learned about negative indices before. Um, if I were to put 0 in for x, I'd have 6 divided by 0 squared, which is 6 divided by 0. You're not allowed to divide by 0. So this is just an extra little bit in the question that says, in this particular question, uh, there's no x. x can't exist. It's not, it's not allowed. Okay, uh, that's a, just a side note though, just so you're not lost when you see something like that. Uh, negative powers, just realised I've been really lazy. I've been talking about derivatives, but I've been not writing it in. f of x and then f dash of x, that's a derivative. That's the derivative. That's the derivative, okay? Don't, don't do what I've just done, that's terrible. That says f of x is that, it's not. f dash of x is that, f dash of x is that, f dash of x, that's the derivative. Okay, this next one here, uh, it says a function of z, could say a function of x, y, k, you're allowed to have a function of anything, uh, is equal to 4 on z squared. Now the derivative of that, I'm not going to do the derivative yet, I'm just going to rearrange it a little bit, uh, because I can't deal with things that are on the bottom of fractions, I don't know how, but I can move them to the top, so I can say that that's the same as 4z to the negative 2. And now that I see that it's 4z to the negative 2, I can now find the derivative if I've got space. I might just do it over here. f dash z is equal to, now the negative 2 comes out, that becomes negative 8. Decrease the power by 1, negative 3. 
Now, you should probably put it back how you found it. Um, so it's negative 8 over, uh, right here, z to the 3. All right, so just moving that negative power back down to the bottom. So that's just little marks there. Uh, okay, there's some uh, polynomials. There's some uh, negative powers. I might just take a look at one more nifty little one. All right, this one's a little bit complicated. f of x equals that. Uh, we've got a problem because we've got some stuff on the top and some stuff on the bottom. Later on, you're going to learn something called a quotient rule, but there are other ways to solve this using not using the quotient rule. So, if f of x is equal to that, I could rewrite it as f of x is equal to x to the negative 4 times uh, the rest of it. Now, I've really just moved that x to the negative 4 up to the top, or x to the 4 to the top to make negative 4. Uh, now, multiplying through... If you're a bit careful, x to the negative 4 times 3x squared is going to be 3x, negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Uh, x to the negative 4 times 2x is going to be 2x, uh, negative 4, and that's a 1, uh, negative 3. And then negative 5 times x to the negative 4 is negative 5x to the negative 4. Uh, and then that's, that's still f of x, but now I can find the derivative. So the derivative of that, negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Decrease the power by 1, negative 3. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Decrease the power by 1, negative 4. And negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. Decrease the power by 1, x to the negative 5. Uh, now that's pretty ugly. Um, we can sort of do some fancy factorization after the fact by um, bringing x to the negative 3 They've all got a common factor of x to the negative 3. All right, so that's going to be just negative 6 there, because negative 6 times x to the negative 3 is that. Um, this is going to be um, negative 6x to the negative 1, because negative 3 times negative 1 would be negative 4. Uh, and then uh, x to the negative 3, that's going to be x to the negative 2 there. Okay, we're getting pretty ugly there. Uh, we probably don't need to go that far. We can probably just stop right, right there. Okay, uh, polynomials, negative powers. I think that's probably enough on negative powers. We can probably take a look at fractional powers. The rules don't change here. It's still following that rule there. If I want to find the derivative of something with a fractional power, uh, I just follow the rule. So it's going to be 4 times 2 thirds. So 4 times 2 thirds is 8 on 3. Um, stop and think about that if you need to. And then um, decrease the power by 1. So uh, 2 thirds minus 1. That's the same as 2 thirds minus 3 on 3, uh, which is going to be negative 1 third. Uh, negative 1 third. Now, I probably, it's probably a bit rude to keep it as a negative power. So I can rewrite that as 8 over 3x to the 1 third. Because if it's a negative power, I can move it from the top uh, down to the bottom. Okay, so fractional powers, they keep following the same rules. All right, one more, try to keep it tricky. f of x equals x to the 1 fifth minus 5 over x to the 3 quarters. So, um, I can't deal with it yet um, because there's an x on the bottom of a fraction. You can't have that. So, I'll just leave this first one as it is, x to the 1 fifth, and then I'll move that up to the top. 5x... And when I move it to the top, that 3 quarters becomes negative 3 quarters. All right, now, now that I've got the x's on the top, I can deriv find the derivative just fine. So bring this power out the front, we get 1 fifth. Now, 1 fifth minus 1 is 4 fifths. You can muck around with that if you want. Should be able to do it without a calculator, though. Um, and then here, now, be careful, it's going to be negative 3 fourths minus uh, times negative 5. So that's um, positive 15 over 4. And again, you can scratch that around here. You can just work it out. And then uh, we need to decrease this power by 1. So what's that going to be? Uh, negative 3 quarters minus uh, 1, which is the same as 4 over 4. So that's going to be uh, negative 7 over 4. Okay. So negative 7 over 4. Uh, now, that's an answer. That's, that's pretty well it. You could, if you wanted to, just go one step further 
and say f of x equals one fifth x to the well, four fifths, and then uh, plus fifteen over four, and then that becomes x to the seven over four, but positive. Whew. Okay, that's derivatives of polynomials, negative powers, and fractional powers. They all follow exactly the same rule.